Okay, so this is just a quick tip on if you're trying to either warp or change a tempo of certain tracks um, and also if you're trying to pitch certain tracks on on these sets now when you when you when I first put these songs in here um, you'll notice that like say this top song right here none of these tracks are warped and um, and some songs like this one right here you'll see that they all are warped and uh, what happens is when I'm putting them together I'm putting them together over in in this view and then when I consolidate them and I drag them back over into this view uh, then sometimes they, they automatically warp <clears throat> now when they automatically warp um, they're not really changing anything if you take the warp on or off from the from what I just did over in this view when I fixed them but if you don't go through and do these little adjustments and you say you try to change something just because they're warped say you want to pitch this song like cool and the gang it's already warped but if you want to change like the tempo or if you want to change the pitch um, everything's going to get messed up on it because you got to go through anytime you have um, anything with you know melody like keyboards or lyrics or guitar um, you know drums and percussion you don't have to do this but on anything with a melody bass keyboards anything from here over bass keyboards horns loops anything that's tuned to the right uh, tuning of the song you need to go over to your warp and right here where it says beat so I'm going to start here on bass and I'm going to change this to either complex or complex pro um, complex pro you know is probably just the easiest so change that to complex pro um, complex pro whoops not transpose on a complex pro <clears throat> complex pro complex pro and complex pro and uh, now when I'm playing this all the clicking one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to go through here and start dragging this stuff around because if you're on this one track and you try to drag this forward then you're gonna mess it up from playing with all the other tracks so the only thing you want to do here is just change the complex pro uh, on there and you don't really need that on beats because you want to warp those on beat so now it's playing and everything's on time three, four. And so now if I want to tune you don't need to tune the drums because the drums you don't want to have them higher or lower. You can just highlight uh, the bass track, go over and highlight the other one. And now I can go over here to tune. And I'm going to do this kind of drastically so you can hear it. So I'm going to go up like. You see everything still on beat. You know, but if these are warped on, if you go over here and click on one of these, and these are warped, and they say this is say the vocal or say the vocal or the bass or whatever is on beat, it's going to try to warp that as a beat instead of a melody, and it's going to sound really messed up and not not um, go together. Now, some of these. Um, like this set I'm, I'm looking at right here has 24 or 24k magic and right now none of these are warped so if you're trying to change the tempo uh, I mean uh, the, trying to change the, the tuning you're gonna need to warp them um, but if you're not changing the tuning and something's going wrong if you just unwarp them all then uh, you're gonna be fine because they're gonna be set up at the right exact tempo that they're set up at so like this one will run fine if you don't need to change the tuning or if you don't need to change the BPM um, you know you're gonna be fine now change the BPM on like 24k magic might be a little odd because the tempo if you look at the click track it's 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 slower up here that it's then it speeds up and it slows down and speeds back up to fit that intro and then after it gets into the song gets into the song but I'll try to change the tempo but I doubt I don't think changing the tempo of 24k magic is going to work just because there's multiple tempos in there and so I think if you warp 24k magic or a song like that 
uh, you're going to have issues because um, when you warp something, you're going to see a grid come up. And now it's going to try to get everything on that grid. And so, you know, if I go through and I and I um, say, I get that one. Let me get everything warped here real quick, just so we can see. So if everything's warped on 24K Magic, anytime that, uh, let me get everything warped. Let me see if that lines up. And see, I'm playing that without fixing the, um, everything is on beat instead of uh, complex pro. So it's getting all kind of messed up. So if I go over here, I need to go first, and before we check this out, I need to check out, change these to complex pro. Complex pro, because it's trying to warp all that as a drum instead of a melody. And so let me come over here and change these to Complex Pro. Complex Pro. Now let me here and see. I don't even know if 24K Magic will warp due to the fact it's got multiple tempos going on. But we'll check it out and see. See where the tempo slows down. Seems fine so far. Now, if you notice on this one track, 24K Magic, the tempo is really weird in here, and that's just because that's the way the song goes, and after it gets in here, it works fine. So let's see if we can... Change it. Seems to be fine. I'm up to seven points, so. The 24K Magic can be warped and, and work that way. I'm going to see if we can change the tempo. That might be a problem. Um, so, to change the tempo, what you do is go over here and you'd rename this where it says 107 and change that to 120 let's see if it actually works because the tempo is weird on that so now you can see the tempo up here changed to 120 seems fine that way. Just got to make sure there's a warp that way. And also, one thing you don't want to do is you don't want to go and have this at uh, 107 and have you know, their correct tempo. And then go up here and change the master tempo to 120 and then try to play that. It's going to keep going back to 107. Even if you try now, like 120. Now it just going to kind of freak the machine out. So if you want to change the tempo, you got to make sure you change it over here at the writing. And um, so it'll be uh, at whatever you have written here, it, when you want to change the tempo there, you'll, you'll change that to like 107 BPM. You know, and if I go up here to, um, let's see what the other song was. Um, 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 same with, with uh, September. And now September, if I change the tempo on September, right now it's 126. Intro. And I change the tempo to, and rename the tempo to, um, you know, say 200 just to be drastic. Nothing's going to happen. Intro. Three, four. Except, for the, except for the MIDI track, which is the count in, Drums is going to be weird. The drum, because that's the only thing it's recognizing that we're playing at 200. What I need to do there is I need to go through and I need to warp let me put that back let me just go undo I need to go through and warp all the other track all the other tracks that are wave files so I just click on this one go over here 
click on that, click warp, and now we're still not done because we have to go through and change any melody one to Complex Pro. Complex Pro, Complex Pro, Complex Pro, Complex Pro, Complex Pro. Complex Pro, and you can change these to Complex Pro too if you want the, the percussion, but you don't need to because it'll be fine. See if I'm playing this now. Intro, two, three, four. And if I want to change the, the tuning, you know, leave the percussion alone, I want to make those sound different. In. Two, three, four. Grab all those, come up. Intro, two, three, four. Yeah, I just went up a, a full step. Two would be a full step up higher than we're normally. You're not gonna get that weird thing if it's on beat. So let's put that back to regular. And if I want to change the tempo, I come over here, rename, and rename that to say 130. Hit enter and make sure it always says 130 BPM. If it's just like 130, it won't tell Ableton it's got to change the BPM. So it's always got to be like 130 BPM. And then, but now if we click on that, it'll be playing 130. Intro, two, three, four. Drums in, two, three, four. So, anyhow, so I hope that makes sense and um, let me know. All right.